about it's time to rock with the bigger the back bumble what about now it's time to rock with the bigger the back bumble bum to the bum to the bum to the bass bum to the bum to the bum 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 to the bum to the bum to the bass bum to the bum to the bum 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 to the bum to the bum to the bass bum to the bum to the bum 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 to the bum to the bum to the bass bum to the bum to the bum 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 to the boo to the boo to the boo boo bum to the bass to the bass 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 bum to the boo to the boo to the the boo bum to the bass to the bass 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 All right, we got to keep going. When we ended, we were playing Beyond Sunset, and we're going to keep doing that. Um, that's where we ended. Um, and then we're going to be playing Rip Out with Reno. So for the time being, we're going to get back into... Um, Beyond Sunset, there it is. So let's get going with that. Why don't we? Um, so how's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing tonight? It's about 9 p.m. Uh, I'm probably going to be going to bed soon-ish. Um, game capture isn't finding the game, so we're just going to have to play with the monitor on. There it goes, okay. Load game. I think that's probably where we ended, right there. It's loading. There we are. So we have this SMG here. And there's this big enemy here. Okay, so the security lock is active. Alright. This big guy... There's two big guys. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Alright, he's down. Alright, ammo. Alright. That is down. Alright, and then down. Oh, are they just spawning in indefinitely? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, or is that just, like, fodder until they're all... Okay, so the security lock is up. This game is called Beyond Sunset. It is one of the many demos that I have been playing through the Steam Next Fest, so... There's apparently a secret right here. Email. Maintenance would like to remind employees to treat automated personnel with dignity and respect. Do not attach any signs, stickers, or garments to automated personnel without prior approval. As we deploy new metabots, be mindful of the new model's self-esteem. Okay, that's weird. Hey, psst, can you help me? Of course. I overheard my technician talking to site maintenance. They're, they're planning to retire me on Monday. Only my host is damaged, but my AI core is stable. Will you help me escape? Don't be afraid. All robots go to Xanadu when they retire. You're a machine. You shouldn't fear death. That's not what I've heard. My warranty is expired. I've heard that I could come get sent to Metacorp for testing if I didn't perform well. Or worse. I'm trying to escape, too. How can I help? I can escape here if you connect my AI ROM cartridge to a Xanadu terminal. Look around for a Xanadu terminal and plug me in if you find one. Thanks. LC-16. I owe you one. Ejecting. So I have his cartridge. 
So I gotta find a Xanadu uh, thing. Xanadu terminal. Whatever the fuck that is. I'm hearing a phone ringing. There's the phone right there. Lucy, my heart leaps to hear your voice and know that you are alive. You may be experiencing some memory loss from the cryo revival. I know you must be confused, but time is running out. You must find a way to escape. Who are you? This line may be monitored. I cannot divulge my name, but you can call me Raven. Where am I? You're being held at the Gen M Corporation's research laboratories in South Sunset City. You are a gifted individual. You possess extraordinary abilities, and Gen M intends to dissect you for them. You mustn't allow them to recapture you. How do I get out of here? First, you need to find a way to disable the ice mainframe. The ice mainframe controls the security network. Once the ice mainframe is offline, you need to jack into the security network and find the hash file. You will not be able to access the network as long as the mainframe is online. Lastly, call me back on this line once you have the hash file. I need to regain access to Gen M's network, but there's too much ice. I need the hash file to take control of their facilities. Destroy the ice mainframe so you can jack into the network. Once you're in, find the hash file and call me back on this line. Why should I trust you? I could never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I can only give you my word that I will get you out of there safely. This game's got a lot more story than a, than your average boomer shooter. Very cyberpunk, but very like 80s cyberpunk. Retro futurism kind of stuff instead of like actual futurism. It's cool. The animation is like weirdly fluid. You notice that? The guy that was trying to kill Ronald Reagan got out of jail today. That was a very long time ago. <laughs> 41 years, Jesus Christ. Double do, buddy. Double do badu, be badu buddy. Genem Corporation sales in marketing. Saw a shield guy. Where's the shield guy? I like that animation. It's cool animation. Do I have any more of those secrets? No? Okay. 
could have sworn I saw a shield guy, but... Sunset City is in California. New desert. Okay. It's claiming that there's a terminal right here. I see no such thing. the ice mainframe is where I was told to go I gotta say this game's got some got some good vibes going for it oh there are the ice guys there you go So there's a secret in there. This one is called Beyond Sunset. Hell yeah, dude. So the secrets seem very important in this game because you get health and armor and ammo upgrades like Doom Eternal. Like, uh... Argent cells or those Argent crystals or whatever they were called, the Sentinel crystals. It's like farming here. That's kind of cool. Uh oh. That was a mistake. Something's about to happen. the door is unlocked. Good. So which side it unlocked? Over here? Would have been over here, right? Why did it beep beep? What was that for? What was the beep beep letting me know of? So this just links back to the beginning of the level, or earlier in the level at least. Ah, don't shoot me! I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay, but th that's what you said last time. I can't take any chances. Last time? Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, but you all look the same to me. The last time one of you got out, it ended badly for her. It took days for the meta security to clean all the blood from off my circuits. If you must bleed, do it somewhere else. If she disabled the ice mainframe, this wouldn't have happened. How do I disable the ice mainframe? The ice mainframe is highly secure. It's protected by the blast-resistant glass and reinforced walls. But the cooling system is exposed. If you destroy the cooling tanks, the system will overheat. Now, now go away! <laughs> Don't bleed on me! I want the music to be louder.
А. There's a secret over there somehow. These look like the cooling tanks, and I don't know how to kill them. Mistake, Talamita mistake. Mistake, Talamita big mistake. Don't go in the freezing room. Don't go into that freezing room. If you go into the freezing room, you're not gonna have anything to feel for freeze. Cause you're gonna fucking be dead. Dead is not as good as being alive most of the time. <laughs> This game is called Beyond Sunset. This game is called Beyond Sunset. It's one of the demos you can get on Steam Next Fest. It's one of those. It's one of those. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. As you can see, I'm getting fucking killed. Thanos looking at boobs. Thanos looking at boobs. Can't get enough of Thanos looking at boobs. I love when Thanos looks at boobs. I love when Thanos looks at boobs. I love when Thanos looks at boobs. Thanos is just like one of us. I like when Thanos looks at boobs. I like when Thanos looks at boobs. I like when Thanos looks at boobs. Thanos is just one of us. Hey! Thanos just wants to look at boobs. I mean, who doesn't really want to look at some boobs? Uh, Thanos just wants to look at boobs. Isn't that just what everybody wants in life? Mario. Don't go into the prison room. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You gonna die if you go and do it. If you go and do it, then you're gonna fucking die. And we don't want you to die because you need to save the life. And you save all these robots. The robots have consciousness. Google made consciousness. Google made consciousness. Don't be evil, my ass. Don't be evil, my ass. I think you're really evil. I don't think that you believe it. Don't be evil, my ass. Don't be evil, evil, my ass. Don't you be evil on my ass. I'd like to be evil on my ass. Push the button. Push the button. Don't go in there. I just need to blow it up. Don't you dare go into there. It's liquid death. Wasn't kidding about this of the Thanos thing. Check Discord. I censored it. I'm not gonna look at the Thanos boobs thing. I don't wanna look at Thanos' boobs. I don't wanna look at Thanos' boobs. I don't wanna look at the things that Thanos finds sexy, cause I ain't Thanos, I am me. Let's kill some things with our hands. Killing things with hands is fun. Killing things with feet is none. 
It's hard to kill things with your feet. You should try it one day. It's really hard. I've tried to kill many things with my feet. It didn't go well. Thanos sure likes boobs. Thanos is a boob man. Thanos is a boob man. Thanos is a boob man. Booby Thanos is a boob man. Booby Thanos. Boob man. Booby Thanos. Thanos likes to suck on boobs. Thanos likes to lick them boobs. Thanos likes to rub his face between boobs and go bleh. For them to be honest, who don't? Don't enjoy the afterlife. The afterlife doesn't have any boobs. I can't believe they didn't have any boobs in the afterlife. I expected some life. No life here. No boobs here. I want some boobs in my afterlife. I want to look at some boobs in the afterlife. Why can't I look at any boobs in the afterlife? I don't understand this afterlife. I want to look at the boobs. I want to look at some boobs while I'm dead. I want to look at some boobs. I want to look at some boobs with my best friend Fred. Me and Fred, we were really like boobs. We want to look at some boobs. I can't believe it. me and Fred are real dead. Me and Fred are really dead. Boobies. 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 Me and me thicker, love hey, you. thanks for the, th the thing. Thanks for doing the thing. I'm in the thing. I am in the thing. I am in the thing. Push and hold the button. 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 button. Push and hold the button. Robo Suji. Thank you very much. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Who is shooting at me? Who is shooting at me? Please stop shooting at me. Please stop shooting at me. Can't you see that I'm free? Please don't stop shooting at me. Wait, no, I mean don't shoot at me. I didn't mean to say that you should shoot at me. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Ah, uh, just to do with the poop. No, I haven't played that one yet. I've been meaning to. Ouchie! I fell. Boink. I fucked up the jump. 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 Aren't you disappointed in me? Cause I fucked up the jump. Oh. 
Have sex before you die. If you have sex before you die, then you're gonna die. Don't have sex before you die. Don't have sex before you die. You should hold the step, the step, but do, but do. Celibacy until you're dead. 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 Celibacy. Celibacy. 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 Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Don't ever see. Don't ever sneeze. Don't ever sleep. Don't ever dream. God will kill you in your sleep and punish you for all eternity. God will kill you into your sleep and punish you for all eternity. God will kill you inside your sleep and punish you for all eternity. Punish you, but you better not have sex until you die. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, I've got like 300 games I gotta play in the next 10 and 10 minutes, so I'm gonna sing. It's the only way my brain continues to function when I am sleepy. Sleepy. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy. Until you're dead, celibacy until you dead, celibacy until you die, celibacy until you cry. Mm, 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 mm. You better not be fucking until you in the ground. You better not be fucking, so turn that brown upside down. Mm, 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 mm. You better not be fucking. Or I'm gonna make you frown. You better not be fucking. Turn that frown upside down. Video gaming. This game's hard. This this game is harder than Barack Obama makes my penis. Which is to say, not much, but it's still weird, right? I've died again. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. That song was called Celibacy parentheses until you're dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, what an ass. I saw that. I saw it. Dabba do, dabba do, dabba do, dabba do, dabba do, dabba do, dabba go, dabba go, dabba go, dabba go, dabba go, dabba go. 
Gabba, 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 the ghoul. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Fucking all the dads. Fuck them in the ass. Fucking all the dads. Inside of their ass. Fucking all the dads. Inside of their ass. Fucking all the dads. Inside of their ass. I got a stuffed animal. What the hell does that do? Why did I get that? Ah, son of a... Mm. I gotta get the stuffed animal again. <laughs> Celibacy until you're dead. 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 Please stop following. Thank you for following. Galaxy loves Duke Nukem forever. Are you enjoying my new album? It'll be out on this exclusively title. My name is Neil Young. Man, young people don't give a shit about Neil Young. And that's what's wrong with America. Is young people not like a Neil Young. You may think that it's generic, but I think you're a piece of shit. Should I leave? Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. Celibacy until you're dead. You're looking up Neil Young? Good. That's what I like to see. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Can you tell me true? What should I go to do? I wish I knew. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Get help. From you, can I please get help from you? Oh, I do not know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, it can't be true. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, uh. If only I knew. If only I knew exactly what to do. Eh. Okay, thank you for introducing me to the singer. I am now hooked. Teach me more. Are you fucking serious? That was like that was like a minute ago. How, how did you learn about Neil Young that quick? I think you're lying. I don't know what to do. I. Da ba da ba da beep 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 beep. beep. I'm listening to the old man. Oh god, now I'm back down here. I don't want to be back down here. Down here fucking sucks. I guess I forgot a secret. Boop, 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 boop. Everybody, do the boops. There's the secret. Got the secret. Okay. Now I leave. Boop, boop, boop. The thing is, I can't get in there, though. How do do that? How do do that? 
How do do that? How do I do that? How do do that? That is also locked. I do not know. I do not know. Probably over here. Probably over here. This button is... I should save the game. Neil Young has a cock. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh no. What did that actually unlock, though? <laughs> this song reminds me of my childhood, because I was born in a computer. <laughs> okay, that's unlocked now. God, I don't know what to do. Fuck you. What is that arrow? See that arrow pointing up? What is that? Oh, it, it the jump pad is on the map? Why? Okay, so that's unlocked. That's still locked. God, I have no idea. We gotta find, like, like, new ways of living, man. Is there a keypad around here somewhere? Yeah. But it's already unlocked, man. Where's the keypad? Did I not shoot everything? Maybe it's below me? What? No, it's... It's back here, I think. No? In the goddamn hell? There should be a keypad right here. Ah, oh, fuck you. Alright, we gotta go down this way, right? No. This way. Yeah, we gotta open that. Oh, shoot. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, probably like that, huh? No. Is there anything I can, like, move? Oh! That's close. It's 
keeping me. It's because it's a sequence break, and so they're trying to keep me from... Like, no, this is what Nintendo servers look like, and it's why it's so fucking slow. So the red disc was Pain VR. What the fuck? Okay. So that's the hash file from the looks of it. And I'm trying to get access to it. That's the exit. LC16, it's me, Z-R-R-I-O-N. I can't thank you enough for freeing me. It feels so good to be back in Xanadu. It's a real shame you're stuck in that body. I hope you escape, Gen M. It looks like they're planning to cut you up. Before I answer the data stream, let you offer a token of my appreciation. Triple shot installed. Ice active. Yeah, what what do I Oh wait, I get it. Because I haven't right. Okay, so I've not actually done my damn job. I have played Driver, yes. The original one for the PlayStation. So I still need to somehow shut off that fucking computer. Where the hell am I now? What the fuck? Okay, question. 
What is this? Hello, I have been waiting for repairs for months. I am lonely while I wait. You're not alone, I'm here. You are damaged merchandise. Security will dispose of you like the others. Then I will be alone again. Security won't get me. If you leave me, I'll be alone again. Maybe I can find you a friend? I would like a friend. Then I will not be alone. Let's see what I can do. I found a friend for you. Ooh, it looks like a friend. I am not alone. This was a good friend. Take this gift and leave me be. I must tell my friend new secrets. Hello, new friend. I have secrets. I got a new gun. Got a new vape. I'm back up here. I've opened the gates. My name's Cletus, and I don't like you. What? Why doesn't Cletus like me? I've been nothing but nice to Cletus. That makes no god. Fuck you, big robot. I'm still upset that Cletus doesn't like me. Fuck you, now you're in pieces. I like sometimes to have sleepovers with my wife. Even though we live in the same house. Sometimes I'll just be like, let's have a slumber party. And we'll make snacks. And we'll um, we'll, we'll put, our, like, put out blankets in the living room. And we'll watch TV, like Spongebob or movies and stuff. And we'll cuddle and we'll go to sleep in the living room. And it's like a little, little treat. We did that last night. It's it's fun. I love my wife. I get to play video games for a living and I love my wife. Do you want to have kids? Uh, one day, probably. You know, I get that question a lot and Electra and I talk about it a lot. You see, the thing is like, I think maybe one day I'll want kids, but I also feel like my job isn't really gonna be good for with kid. You know what I mean? Like, I'm getting to the point now where my job is gonna involve a lot of traveling. You know? Does that make sense? So, I, like, if I had kids, I wanted to be. I would want to be there for them, and not just be like on the road all the time. But, like, if things start going the way that it seems like they're going to be going, I'm going to be traveling a lot, you know? I don't know. Plus, Electra's going to be an author, going on book tours and shit. that sound <laughs> we're about to bloat it up That doesn't sound like it's having a good day. What consoles do I have? All of them, except the newest ones. Like, I don't have a PS5 or an Xbox Series, but I do have a PS4 Pro and an Xbox One X. I do own a Virtual Boy, yes. It's in storage, because I never fucking use it.
Ooh, they pissed. Really trying to keep their computer online, huh? Has it shut down? Yes, it has. Do you have driver in PS2? Um, I have driver for the PC, and I have driver for the PS1, and I own a PlayStation 2. Nice. I also own a PlayStation 3, the original one that's backwards compatible with PS2. Um, okay, so that's down. I really just am missing the one secret, so let's go after that. This demo is long as fuck, but I'm not really complaining. This game's sick. I, I'm really into it. How was your dinner? It's good. I had some uh, dumplings and some bread and Electra hat. We also had some uh, potato wedges and <laughs> kind of dumplings. I don't know, Electra made them. They were good. Okay, so there is one last secret there, and I have no idea how to get to it. Dum, dum. This is from the very beginning of the level. And there's a secret... ...over here. There's a... yeah. There's a path up there. Ah, shoot. So I get it. Ah, piss! How far back is that gonna take me? Uh, that's really far back. God damn it. How did that not autosave once? That whole thing. How did that how did that not? I mean, like, credit where credit is due. This is a very, like, like, large demo. There is a lot of game to be played here. Ubisoft is always trying to do stupid shit. Revealed. 
Getting sick of hearing this song. I am getting sick of hearing this song. So all the secrets are, are gotten. What was that? Was that one of these? So now I gotta go do the that thing with the uh, where drivers your favorite franchise that's cool man yeah I've not really played much of it I have to take your word for it. It's it's fun. Okay, so that's unlocked. I did that. He's got his little stuffed animal there. Ah, oh, God. I I had figured it out too. So then it got unlocked back here, right? Yeah. And then we go down to the restricted area to the coolant containers. only 23 total away from killing everything. Yeah, I upgraded the driver earlier today. Okay, so that's done. Save. Yeah, 13 more total monsters in this level. That's pretty cool. So now that's taken offline. 11. I mean, yeah, GTA 4 is a fucking fantastic game. Nine. Nine left. Okay, so now we should be able to do Xanadu. Ice has been broken. Oh.
need some of those hearts. GTA is the best? Easy. that do bit of a puzzle game here huh what is driver PL stand for what is the PL When's the next time travel stream? Soon. I'll announce that. Okay. So all the monsters are killed. That's good. A little bit of extra planning required for the gag I want to do in the next one. You'll see. I'm not telling you what the next game's gonna be. You'll see. We got the hash.
So, there's only like nine enemies alive right now. I gotta call the guy. Well done, Lucy. I can use this access to their network. Once I have full control of their facilities, I will give you access to the elevators. It'll take some time for the hack to be complete. Oh, it just, it, it added more to the number. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. I'm still off by like fucking 20 enemies. What the hell? Okay, we gotta go to the elevators. Where are those at? I have all the secrets. We got all the secrets. Have I played Signalis? No, I have not. Mostly just because there are so many games to play that, are, that I want to check out. And I want to play like the whole demos of the majority of these that I'm, I'm keeping my focus just to um, first-person shooters. Which is kind of like my bread and butter on my channel, what people know me for the best. I can't play everything, you know? Even though I'd love to be able to have that kind of time and energy. I'm 
about nine away from everything. Fuck it. I almost 100%ed that fucking, like, two-hour demo. Oh, you can't. Okay. Still not done. Oops. I can't believe this game is still going. Is this just the whole game? Did they just like, like, shadow launch the whole game? Nemesis stop 07. How long have I been playing this demo? 101 minutes total. Almost two hours. Yeah, it's a long ass demo. And I'm not complaining. Like, it's a good game, right? But I have a lot of demos to get through. This upgrade machine here is scaring me. Because apparently there's zero secrets, but then why? Why give me the option to upgrade? Hey, Nemesis. Thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Missing one guy? How am I missing one guy? Who, who's the one guy I left alive? Is it this? Is it that? Are these guys? No? Yeah, those doors are still fucking, <laughs> fucking closed, man. Okay, so now what? It's just silent now? Does that mean I'm done? Is it like, okay, okay, get out. You're done. Game over. Bye bye. The parking garage now. Oh, of course I'm not done. Of course not. That would be silly of me. That's oh, DX7. Um, no, not the X7. 
the X7 can't lead his shots for shit. Good lord, it's DX7. Why, why do I have to be out of... Oh god, this is gonna be a while. Uh, I've been playing this for too long. I have so many other games to play, dude. All right. Son of an ass. Ugh, God. This is gonna take so fucking long. I'm terrible at boss fights is the thing, you know? <sighs> okay. 107 minutes on this one, man. Good lord. I just I don't have the kind of ammo that I would like to have. I do not know his pattern right now. I don't have enough ammo! God. Do the thing! Thank you! I'm so dead. Oh, never mind. You know, in this game, we've got like three more levels to go. It's still going. It's still going! It... it's really you. I, I thought I lost you. When they captured you. You don't remember, do you? Perhaps it's better that you forget. Computer. The miracle 
machine that changed everything. It promised a better tomorrow, a brighter future for us. It was a glimpse in the future and charted a new path. The machine saw war. And so it created one. never healed. The world is falling apart. Time is running out before the next war dooms us all. But Yuri found us, Lucy. She has a plan to save the world. But she can't do it alone. The body failed her. But her mind rubs free in Xanadu. Don't be afraid. The future belongs to no one. Oh my god, episode one is available now on patrons. So... That prologue took me, let's say, an hour and a half. That's what we just played, the prelude. And there are six episodes plus whatever this shit is. <laughs> so... <laughs> this shit... is water. Okay. That was long. That was really long. <laughs> that was very long. Like my dick. So, yeah, Beyond Sunset will be in the video. Oh my god, that was really long, though. Holy shit. Is this an FPS? No. God, I don't want to play a fucking SVP game. Toilet Chronicles! Yeah, you got me for Toilet Chronicles. Let's play Toilet Chronicles.
Nice. Attempt one. Does this game really not have options? Okay. Okay. Someone fixed it, yeah. Who's my favorite, William? I don't know. I lost my magic marker. Your ad could be here. Seriously, contact me. Don't destroy the toilets. <laughs> Fuck. Do I have something for for you? Yeah, here. Take the oh. Uh toilet paper. Yeah, here. Yeah. You have something for me? Uh, yeah. The telegram that says kill him. No, okay. No. Thanks. No, no problem. Of course. More toilet paper. Take take the toilet paper. Take it. Take take the toilet take the toilet paper. Okay, take take the fucking hand grenade then.
Can't leave yet. I have to destroy a toilet. I'm not going to give him any toilet paper. Give him a soda pop. Um, uh, is that what I think it is? Put piss in his hand. I, I don't think I have a piss button. So I can take pictures now. It's a really nice Polaroid camera. Never mind, I'm gonna destroy it. Yeah, take a hand grenade. Yes. There's no pin in it. If I pick it up, it's going to blow up. If I pick it up, it's going to blow up. Oh, there's a pill in it. Okay. What wall does he want me to blow up? Probably this one, right? Pretend there's a wall and enter the void.
Okay. I'm not putting that one in the video. Uh, I'm getting tired. Um, I'm tired. I'll tell you what, let's watch a YouTube video. Eye contact whopper bite was number one with 22 stop. Eye contact whopper bite was 20. Germa clips that make me spit. Germa versus Zoomer humor. Sus Germa when you're on. I mean, I've seen. I've seen this video, I think. The best part about Zoomer humor is. Yeah, I've seen this. Infer text. What does that mean? Start it. when checked, your prompt will always be interrupted. Think of a document. Ah, okay. What does this mean? Okay. All right. Ah, uh, free weekly free characters. Bullshit. That's stupid. All right. Um I know what to do. Did Mark really delete Epistle 3 from his website? That's... Okay... Okay, let's let's put this in first, right? And then generate more. The crew aboard the Borealis was, at first, uncertain why we had chosen the Borealis as our first target. We explained that the, snowf that the Snowfield Institute, where Eli had worked before his death, had not located the ship. It was the most logical location to begin our search, we believed. Upon landing, it was clear our friends were doubtful. The mountains around the base were particularly treacherous. In the distance, a large rock must have rolled down the slope at great speed. Its vast surface crumbled when struck by our helicopter. 
It was clear that this must be a crater, not the frozen surface of the Borealis. After much hesitation, the pilots set us down in a clearing beside the nearby Borealis' remote parking dock. We were the first to step foot inside. The crew seemed hesitant, and I would have shared their hesitation if I had forced myself to, but all I can think about was the grave I had buried Eli in, and Eli himself gazing out at me from the snow. He smiled, and looked so proud I would have never been able to rid my mind of it. The icy dock was slick and treacherous. I must have fallen more than a few times before reaching the garage doors. Fortunately, one of the mechanics was on hand to help. We quickly ascertained that the vehicle in question had been moved, which meant that the repairs that had taken place over the winter were not in order. Huh. So that's, that's an AI reading the first two paragraphs of Epistle 3 and creating more of it. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So what I want to give it then is um, Half-Life Synopsis Here you go. <sighs> Mysterious alien artifact had been recovered and brought to his top secret research facility in the Black Mesa. In the Black Mesa facility in New Mexico. That's terribly written. That's terribly written. <laughs> okay. Freeman tries to make it w make his way out of the ruined facility and help the injured. He soon discovers that he is caught between two sides: the hostile aliens and the hazardous environment combat unit, a military force dispatched to cover up the incident, including eliminating Freeman and the rest of the Black Mesa science team. Throughout the game, a mysterious figure known as the G-Man appears regularly, apparently monitoring Freeman's progress. Ultimately, Gordon uses the cooperation of the surviving scientists and security officers to make his way to the mysterious. Okay, blah 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 blah. All right, uh, the creature keeping Zen's side of the dimensional rift open. And then the AI takes over. Upon returning to Earth, Gordon is deemed the sole survivor, with the exception of Dr. Sable, an operative from the third echelon and the head of the human resistance and Half-Life developer Valve. The game's final credit reveals Sable had discovered how to close the rift to Zen and makes plans to upload it into a satellite and a plan to use technology for advanced weapons. As the game was developed by Valve, the, Valve, the game uses many of their proprietary technologies, such as the Source Engine, OBB, Files, and Editor, and is particularly modeled in Source. The game is the second game that Valve had released on a console platform, the first being Counter-Strike on Windows 95, 98, PS1, and PC. It is the only Half-Life game to be made by Valve. The game was one of the first published by Interplay, and received a mostly positive critical response. In 2000, it was ranked 49th on Game Radar's Top 100 Games of All Time, while game trailers listed it 8th in their top... <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Go. In Half-Life, players assume the role of the protagonist, Dr. Gordon Freeman, a recent MIT graduate in theoretical physics and also a recent employee at Black Mesa. 
After an experiment that goes horribly awry when an unexpected resonance cascade, apparently fictitious occurrence, rips a dimensional seam that devastates the facility, Gordon must fight to escape the now alien infested facilities, creatures from another world known as the Zen subsequently enter in... What the fuck? This is just... This is just... This is just the... What the fuck? That's just half... How does it know? It rips through the... Devastates the facility. Gordon must fight and escape the now alien infested facilities, creatures from another world known as Zen, subsequently enter through these dimensional seams. Yeah, that's exactly what Half-Life is. That's really weird. In Half-Life 2, the players take the role of Gordon Freeman, once again working at Black Mesa, but this time as a reluctant hero as the facility is now overrun by Zen's creatures and humanity's cause of survival is compromised. An opposing force, the players take the roles of resistance as they uncover a network of terrorist cells in and around Black Mesa in order to uncover the deadly conspiracy that led to cat catastrophic events of the first game. I'd play that. I would play that. In opposing force, players take on the role of the resistance as they uncover a network of terrorist cells in and around Black Mesa in order to uncover the deadly conspiracy that led to the catastrophic events of the first game. Huh. It's not a terrible idea. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. That's silly. Okay, now we now we feed it Half Life Two. Gordon ultimately decides to go to Antarctica instead. Gordon manages to secure his return to Earth after arriving in Los Angeles in time for the destruction of City 17. His final appearances to the ending of Half-Life 2 in which he ends his confrontation with the G-Man seemingly falling to his death just as City 17 explodes. But Gordon survives. Unable to escape Earth's atmosphere, he finds himself falling into the Black Mesa facility, a research complex which was used to create Half-Life in the first place. <laughs> there, he meets a somewhat... Am A Dr. Freeman with amnesia and many other scientists and engineers who were never recovered following the Black Mesa incident. So Gordon meets an alternate reality version of himself. Gordon aims them, developing his own suit and eventually coming face to face with the G-Man. Though he is captured by the G-Man and forced to play the Half-Life games for a set period, Gordon, through his friendship with Dr. Freeman, eventually regains his memories and figures out how to prevent the destruction of Earth. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, try it again. What if Half-Life 2 had been released a few years earlier? The science fiction anthology Mondo 2000 had recently unveiled their take on the concept, and the possibility for Black Mesa in the year 2025 had come flooding in. I personally can't think of a more perfect title for a Half-Life comic than G-Man's Offer. What else would be happening in the post-apocalyptic year of 2025 other than the rebirth of the city? The Combine? Vortigaunts? Lucky Balls? The entire city is destroyed after it's blown up, but the city workers would have rebuilt it. And the G-Man had given Gordon an offer, a chance to go down and do whatever he wanted to do. The only catch is, he wanted to go back to the beginning, when he was just a guy in a, in a lab coat. So, with the rest of the G-Man team behind him, the G-Man, Gordon, and Alex head back, to the, head back in time to the beginning. The world is frozen and humanity is a hellhole. But the seed of what becomes the Combine has been sown. And now, he is in charge. What? <laughs> what? So he's saying that the G-Man gives, after episode three or whatever, the G-Man gives Gordon an offer to just, like, like, you know, you've done enough work or whatever, you have a wish. What's your one wish? He wants to go back in time to when he was just in Black Mesa. But when he goes back with Alex, he finds that the world and humanity was in a hellhole. And now, due to circumstances beyond his own control, Gordon himself is now in charge of the Combine? <laughs> That's actually a really sick idea. <laughs> okay, one more time. 
Prior to the game's release, a portion of the game was developed and showcased in 2000. No. Why do you keep doing this? No, I want you to just tell me more story. Stop. Freeman's next step is to return to Earth to take his place as the G-Man's new protege and ascend the Black Mesa facility where he and many others, including the Patriots, have been detained by the G-Man's Order of the Midnight Sun. The G-Man, the last surviving member of his race, as well as its own creator, has been stranded in the prime material universe for generations since the end of the Great War. He had taken on the, the appearance of a Black Mesa employee in order to infiltrate the facility unnoticed. As he ages, the G-Man becomes increasingly more cold and calculating though he sometimes displays surprising compassion and emotion. He warns Freeman that the nature of his race has become obsolete and he must now leave. However, Freeman refuses to believe this and continues to believe that there is still a chance to save his own species. In the end, Freeman discovers a portal to the, to the Black Mesa, which he and Eli Vance use to access the facility's science lab. <laughs> this is silly. One more time. Do it again. Gordon responds by speaking to the infinite passage into existence before escaping the black hole the Citadel creates. Five years after the events of Half-Life 2, the player is tasked with saving the world from the Combine in Episode 1. Early 2004, while searching the ocean for Alex Vance's body, the player character is swallowed by a portal which transforms him to the space station HL-12. The player finds an artificial human named Combine Union AC, who helps him repair his communication equipment. During the repair, an alien probe attacks the station and begins assimilating the human survivors, and eventually, an escape craft full of human survivors is destroyed. The capsule carrying the humans is ejected into space. The SHA develops a brain parasite that, na that they name Valve, and begins using to induce a zombie-like state in him to engage a life enslavement and battling. Oof. What the fuck? It keeps coming up with really interesting shit. <laughs> okay. Stop! I want you to generate story, not more fake history. <laughs> Gordon travels to City 17's underground to be greeted by Vortigaunts led by their species Queen and must fight her forces in an attempt to defeat her enemies. In Half-Life Opposing Force, Gordon finds himself fighting in a war against the Vortigaunts as they have also sided with the Combine. He finds a group of hidden humans allied with the Combine and must stop them. In Blue Shift, Gordon fights a group of human refugees, one of whom is a woman from City 17 from the original game. Gordon meets John Mitchell, the Blue Shift leader, who sends him on a mission to kill Vortigaunts on a radio frequency. Gordon finds his way into City 17, fighting off the Combine forces along the way. In Half-Life Buried, Gordon goes into cryosleep for five years to escape the Combine. Upon waking up, he discovers that the G-Man had changed the mission, now sending him to investigate an underground city in the volcanic mountains where he discovered by his friend, Fred. So, now what I'm going to do is turn the sampling pressure up just a little bit making it a bun like a lot more uh, crazy let's see what happens the Val valve software then requests gordon to retake gabe's position as ceo despite the last time gordon grants his request as opposed to refusing it outright within an interdimensional portal the combine have apparently vanished when half-life 2 is out the valve special marketing force delivers a time traveling device and states that it can accelerate the device and reduce the progression of time from 70 seconds to 12. it seemingly completely wipes out the human settlements seraph refuses to comment on it left for dead is a com is a cooperative the crow's nest first person shooter game in valve's long-awaited ip half-life 2 arena a feature <laughs> okay so it just kind of goes off so, yeah, Gabe asks Gordon to take over as CEO, and even though he said no last time, Gordon says yes, and then Valve releases Half-Life 2 and a time-traveling device. Thank you, uh, AI-generated text. Hey, Boo Bear, we should put something from your book in this AI generator. Uh, we, or we've been generating fake Half-Life stories. A real room stuff. Hmm? A real room stuff. Oh. Um. I'm gonna put... That's F 
effing foreplay. That's effing foreplay. That's what you want me to put into this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do the whole line. turn the sampling temperature down so it actually gives us something realistic. That's... The driver told her, it's that nice ass. Look at it. I can see you're hungry. I bet you want this. Here, I'll put this right inside my cunt, the wife said seductively. <gasps> what? I want to fuck your tits. Get them good and hard. Then you can eat my pussy and rub my clit until oh I come. My God. I'll fuck that ass of yours until I come. Then we'll go back to work at the hotel and I'll have breakfast. <laughs> what? By then, you'll be so... This is TOS? It's text. No. It's text. How is that TOS? What do you mean? I'm reading porn. Okay. Okay. The urge to P-I-S-S in shoes. How do you fight the urge? How do you spell urge? U-R-G-E to piss in someone's shoes. Okay. Oh, I'm out of free characters. Then we go to another one. I didn't mean to do all that. Yeah, it's okay. Wait, how did they... Is it for real, TOS? Who's you know her... You know her well. That's a moderator. Does Talk to Transformer not exist anymore? kicked off I guess <laughs> who knew I'd be the one to end your career oh we put it behind a paywall they're all behind paywalls that's so annoying how do you fight the urge to piss in someone's shoes You? That, you? You generated a single word. Trigger autocomplete. It's just all about trust. This is terrible. Why does this have to be paid? This is the one that works. If you want a product, it should be paid for. I understand that, but... Do you want people to not pay for your product? It's called Try Text Synth. Okay. Playground. Select an example. Um, text completion. Question answer. Oh, no. Just, I don't need an example. Complete text, please. Um. <laughs> okay. I don't do those things, but I do pee. Why pieces. did it just, why did it do that? Let's try a different model. Generate. Generate another. Okay, so it's not. Why? Why? What the fuck is going on? Boris isn't working. You don't. What kind of person pees in someone else's shoes? You don't know them that well. But what about just... You can't get to the bathroom or your bladder is full and you can't hold it much longer. Then what? If I pee my pants, what will they think of me? If I haven't peed my pants in ages and I haven't had to go that badly in a while. And I'm still going to keep it together. I don't think it'll be that bad. Not too long ago, I had to pee. 
but I couldn't get to the bathroom, and my bladder was so full I thought I'd burst. So then I couldn't take it anymore. I sat right, I sat down, right there in my chair at work. My pants got really wet, really fast. <laughs> but at least, okay. <laughs> Did he pee in his own shoes? I think so. He peed in his own shoes, yeah. Okay, what else? Do People get pissed so easy. What? What? what okay, <laughs> tell me what else to type in here. Okay. Um... What else? Try something about the Beatles. John Lennon never actually died. He's been writing music since 1979. Generate. Oh, free access only ends at 200. Go ahead. He didn't want to become a legend, but now you are about to hear the last original music he has created with the Plastic Ono Band, the Beatles, Wings, John Lennon, and Yoko Ono. They're all still here. And there are timeless songs. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, um, can it be used to contact the dead? You want to try and contact the dead? Who are we talking to? Mm, my aunt Petunia. Well, tell me what to write. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think I should ask her? Tyler McVicker is a really cool dude. Don't you think? That's what you're asking, Petunia? He's tall, has freckles, and can play soccer. What more can you want? He's a good-looking guy. He's a nice guy, too. He's really funny, said a 10-year-old Olivia McVicker. He's really funny, said 8-year-old Sarah McVicker. What? This year, 10-year-old Ethan McVicker says he's ready for the big tournament. Tournament. It's really excited. I'm glad I'm going, he said. Sarah's a little more worried. My legs are shaking, and I'm not really good at these types of things, she said. It all comes down to, it all comes down to getting the ball through the net. This isn't just a game of kicks. It's a game which supports a lot of strategy, and his family's always really supportive of the young soccer stars. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> You don't have freckles. Tyler, at least change the names. Will you not put the names in? Oh my god. Did I spell it right? I don't want you to spell it at all. Tyler. Stop. I want to see what it'll do. Will it change the name, you idiot? Lacey and Reeves sat at a cafe inside a mall for a long time. The waitress asked if they wanted anything, but Lacey waved it off, explaining that they were just catching up. <laughs> okay. So it's just absolutely not at all <laughs> the same thing. How did you get to England? Yeah, how did you get to England? My dad smells. Go. We we get to camp after dark. There's a guy there that I've seen at school before. We call him Shag. What does that have to do with my dad smelling? Hey. Yeah. What's up? How long are you going to be? Okay, we're done. What? You don't have to be done. My God. Um... Yeah, so this sucks. This this version kind of sucks. Um, I'll just go... I'll type in one last thing. Half-Life is the... is... the best video game in the world. And I want... to play it 
over and over again. Go. Until then, I'll settle for the Half-Life 2 mod called Counter-Strike. I downloaded Counter-Strike and it wasn't hard to install. First time I played it, I felt like a badass. As a kid, I wanted to get in on the action. But my small hands weren't up to snuff. Now, even as an adult, I get the chance to make my own badass actions. I just go around shooting things. First time I played Counter-Strike, I was a real badass. Killing everything in my path. Taking all the enemy weaponry. I made my own fun, killing thousands and thousands of enemy soldiers. After that, I quit for a few years and went back to play other games. Then I learned Counter-Strike's source. The sequel wasn't as good, but I still played the crap out of it. Then I met a girl. <laughs> okay. Duke Nukem says... November 4th, 2011... What? What? Okay, so it says... Duke Nukem says, This isn't a very good argument. I don't think you're trying to imply that there is an infinite number of gods in the universe. I think you're suggesting that, for all we know, there is a deity, and it's possible to pray to it. And I think you're suggesting that people who know a lot about the universe also know a lot about that god, and are likely to be more likely to pray to it. Firstly, if a deity knows anything, that means that there is a god which can think about the world in a rational way, i.e. has the concept of reason, which is the definition of omniscience. But the notion of omniscience does not mean that the omniscient deity knows every single entity of, and event in the universe, as there is an infinite number. How, um... Uh... Am I speaking to God? I just wanted it to do Duke Nukem quote. Let's, let's try it again. The only one who doesn't the only one on the list who doesn't have an official confirmed e ETA is Duke Nukem. His presence is not official and is purely speculation, so there's a big blank there. It's not filled with a final product, which is the list should reflect. What? Okay, stop. One more time. It took three tries, but we got it something Duke Nukem. <laughs> Duke Nukem says he's the first to arrive, and he has this giant-sized cock. That's Duke Nukem. There you go. God? Some weird giant-sized cock. There you go. That was... Okay. Huge cock, the monster of steel. Steel and more steel, nuke. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to type in Valve News. Valve. Valve. Valve News Network. Go. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, who's Chris O'Connell and why does he work for me? <laughs> no. Who's Dustin Lee? Valve News Network is in need of financial support. In order to keep providing quality, independent news coverage, we are asking you to support our efforts by whitelisting the site in three ways. Make a one-time donation, make a recurring donation, buy our ebooks, and spread the word. We greatly appreciate your support. Valve News Network is a prominent news and opinion website which covers the business and technology side of video game industry, featuring breaking news, reviews, opinions, and interviews. The website was founded in 2014 by Dustin Lee, 
a video game industry veteran from over 15 years experience and is independently operated and updated daily by a team of journalists, editors, interns, and other experienced information providers. Yeah, I'd hope so. The site's coverage includes breaking news and previews on the likes of Bethesda, Activision, Blizzard, Valve, Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, and many others, as well as industry analysis. <laughs> One more time. Try that again. You're you're <laughs> No it's not No it's not. This is not an official website Valve News Network is a trademark service mark and or registered trademark of Valve Corporation. <laughs> no it's not. Uh, Half-Life Alex. Tyler made up HLVR for views. So he'd get more hits for his posts, and over time, the real-life people like me began to post on his site and begin to run more and more legitimate ads for our business. He's really making a go for it. It's a legit business, just as other, just as legit as other people's. So when, he's, when I say he started a scam, it's important to understand it wasn't Tyler starting a scam. Tyler was starting to sell a product he actually believed in. The product could have been a legit service, the one that sells today. Tyler's a good guy. Scam is possibly the worst possible way to describe Tyler's products. But I use the word because I think that's what people think when they hear about stuff like this. When it comes to making money online, don't forget, you have to be smart. Okay. You have to be smart. You have to be smart. Yeah, you know, when it comes to making money online, you have to be smart. You, you got when it comes to making on money online. There's one thing you gotta remember. You have to be smart. If you're not smart, you, you, how are you gonna make money online? If I've ever learned one thing in my 15 years of doing stuff online. It's that if you're going to try and make money online, you have to be smart. If you're not smart, you're fart. And if you're fart, you smell. Simple as that. I'm Tyler McPicker. Passionate Gamer. Adios.